what causes keratin pearls to form and what are they? These are great questions. Keratin is a fibrous protein that helps form your hair, nails, and the epidermis, the outer layer of your skin. My understanding of keratin pearls is that it's accumulated skin cells that have hardened under clitoral adhesions. Clitoral adhesions are when the hood or the prepuce starts to stick or fuse to the glands below it. So normally you should be able to retract that tissue above the nub of the clitoris fully and expose it. And for a lot of reasons that I'm about to tell you, over time that hood can actually stick to the gland so you can't pull it at all. And then you have skin cells that are shedding normally and you have sweat and smegma that build up normally, but because it's not there's a closed compartment because of the adhesions, it's not getting released and cleaned out like normal. Now, there aren't a ton of studies on clitoral adhesions and keratin pearls, but there are some, and here's one of them, and it shows that there were 41 women who took a survey about their demographics and their, the correlations between their pelvic life and their adhesions. And what you can see is that the largest common denominator that people with adhesions had was history of hormonal birth control use. <laughs> history of hormonal birth control use at 73%. So 30 of the participants had that history. On the YouTube version of this video, I can share all the different academic medical journal articles that talk about this that I've been reading, and I'll quote some of their information about keratin pearl and clitoral adhesion formation. Um, so you can head over to YouTube if you want to see that. Uh, there's a lot of articles discussing other factors that cause this, um, but frequent infections like yeast infections that cause inflammation of the skin is one um, supposed theorized risk factor, and then lichen sclerosis is another common one. Um, atrophy from low hormones is another common one that ties into the birth control. So they do discuss the different risk factors. Interestingly, for me, as someone who spent 15 years on the low-dose birth control pill, definitely had hormonal atrophy, um, then went on testosterone, which would have increased my oil and smegma production all of a sudden, which is what I think my pearls formed. Um, I also had a chronic yeast at that time, recurring infections. I had a period of recurring UTIs when I was low hormone atrophy from the pill. So a lot of different of the factors. Um, I don't think I have lichen sclerosis, but the other factors are definitely situations that I've dealt with, which is why I think it's crazy that no one caught my keratin pearls earlier because I literally had a surgery where one of them was already removed. So this whole time people have known, doctors have known that this is something that happens to me, that happened to me. If you Google clitoral pain, it, you come up with keratin pearls and adhesions pretty quick in what you, in the, the hits you get. So the fact that I've seen 50 doctors, including vulvovaginal specialists, including pelvic pain specialists in the last three and a half years, and no one caught the current keratin pearls that I have, and I think I pretty much had them back then as well, it's kind of it boggles the mind because all you'd have to do is Google clitoral pain to come across this concept. And all you'd have to do is talk to me for 60 seconds to find out that I already had one. And people didn't just not suspect this. They didn't even examine me. They just took a quick look without magnification, without bright lighting and said, you look normal. No one actually went looking for these. And this is like the thing that comes up when you Google clitoral pain. And I didn't really think to go checking further for them because I trusted all the experts that I was seeing. I figured if I, if I would have had them, the people that I saw would have found them. And the truth is that they didn't actually look for them. And I only found them when I was like in a moment of insanity thinking there has got to be something causing my pain. I have to look as hard as I can. There has to be something there. And sure enough, there was.